mean, when you're running a business, it really comes down to your first, one of your first most important responsibilities is the ability to pay the bills. Yeah. And you know, I think a lot of times, I didn't realize how, how much of a burden that would be. I thought, I'll be a CEO, I'll go build a company, this will be great. And like, oh, well, that's a, that's a bag to carry. Oh yeah. You know, so uh, I think the more, the more you can give yourself time, the more runway you can create for yourself with cash, the better. And you're absolutely right. Another friend of mine said, um, when, when, the, when, the, when the play with money is going around, take two. <laughs> So bring it on, bring the, same, the play. It's the same play. Oh, I, I want to see the play. I, yeah. I, you know the play. If it's coming around, if somebody's making yeah. offers, take two. Because well, they might not come well, back well, around. I, I have to say in our culture in the Middle East, like if someone offers you anything, yeah. you have to take it. You can't even say no because it's actually rude. So. Interesting. Uh, anyway, so uh, last and final thing that we do here on the show is called Old Rules. Mm. So the idea is that uh, you tell us something that is like one of your fundamental core values or rules that you live by. But then also one that you want people to abide by when they're dealing with you. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way I explained it very simply, being German, be on time and be on time. Mm. Like that's my, uh -huh. those are my two yep. big rules. You know, I think one thing I, I see a lot, especially with teams that are trying to come together, is uh, there, there are two communication related issues. I think one is learning how to understand where someone's coming, where they're coming from before you react, before mm -hmm. you respond. Because yeah. I see a lot of people trying to communicate with each other and they're failing because I never really understood what you're trying to say mm -hmm. and I just jumped in and started reacting and to point A when you were making point X. <laughs> so I think one of my rules is, you know, make sure you know what I'm saying before you come to any kind of conclusion. Sure. And, and I put the same rule on myself. Yeah. Um, and I could, and, and I think um, that communication is, it, it's so easy to start solving a problem that you don't even have. Because you haven't really taken the time to communicate with each other and you just take yourself down some path and everybody's ego gets involved. But I think the other side to that is the next, the next communication issue is let's make sure we understand the problem we're solving before we figure out how to, how to message it to the market. Mm -hmm. A lot of times teams are talking and like, well, how would I explain it to so-and-so? I'm like, well, let's worry about that later. Let's make sure you and I are actually effectively sure. communicating. Let's not massage the language. Let's just, just be, so I, for me, I think, and I, I'm watching a new team come together right now. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the friction or misspent time is really just poor, poor communication. Poor communication. Yeah. And I think that uh, a lot of cycles are burned unnecessarily because people think I said Y when I said Z, or I think you said something that you didn't say. And I, and I can see, I see myself do it as well. So I think th those are rules I'm constantly working on, is getting that a really effective communication, especially between the team that's making the decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially in the Middle East, it's very hierarchically, and, and, and people still struggle with communicating up and down and sideways so that, that's actually a really really important point that we always try to stress as far as mm. being able to communicate with the team and, and one of the pieces of advice I ever got was as a CEO you want people around you that can give you bad news uh, and not be afraid it's, of it's a, I was gonna, I was, it's ex almost exactly what I was going to say is that if somebody may be trying to tell you something but maybe their their communication style isn't yours yeah, exactly. but they have less power than you so they're but you need to hear what they're trying to tell you yeah, exactly. and so it really is a communication is Listening is an almost more work than speaking. Totally. Let's say that, that, that again.